Days we're hearing a lot about food, particularly what's in our food. Now, food dyes and additives have become a hot topic for lots of folks, especially parents. Mm -hmm. Some countries have bans on these types of ingredients, including Canada and much of Europe. Food activists point to evidence that artificial dyes can contribute to behavioral issues in children. The FDA says most kids have no adverse effects, but some may be sensitive to them. Now here in Michigan, hundreds recently protested at Kellogg for its use of artificial food dyes in its cereals. And California recently banned public schools from serving food and drinks made with six dyes. Fruit Loops, for instance, contains four of those dyes. 7 News Detroit News reporter Ryan Marshall is raising the voice of Metro Detroiters concerned about their health. Many Michiganders exhibit healthy living in a variety of ways. We found Marysville resident and nurse Susie Allen taking a morning jog after working the night shift. I think it's important to get outside, mostly whether you're walking, running, whatever you're doing, you should get moving. Um, it's really good for my mental health personally. Susie also says jogging and healthy eating are important for good physical health. Her healthy eating strategy. The 80-20 rule, like 80% good foods that will fuel your body and then 20% of being human and wanting sweets and things that aren't great for you. And I figure if I keep that up, I'm doing pretty good. Nope, I just pretty much buy and eat what I like. Detroit resident Susan Dennis says she's diabetic and hasn't always been a healthy eater. But lately, she's been more conscious of what she eats. I do watch what I um, I do watch, like carbs, sugars. Yeah you know, processed food I try to stay away from. Many Michiganders are beginning to become more conscious about the ingredients that are inside of their food. So they're coming to places like DeVries in the Eastern Market looking for alternatives for healthier options in the foods they eat. We're a specialty food store, um, mainly featuring cheeses. So we have over 250 types of cheese from all over the world, and then specialty import items that you can find from all over the world as well. Megan Lewis is the DeVries and Company store manager. Megan says DeVries prefers selling European foods because of their stricter ingredient guidelines. California recently passed the California School Food Safety Act. Now this bill, which is the first of its kind in America, goes into effect in December 2027 and bans public schools from serving food and drinks with certain dyes, chemicals, and additives in some popular foods, including Flaming Hot Cheetos, M&Ms, Starbursts, and cereals like Fruit Loops and Captain Crunch, among others. Megan says that if Michigan followed California's lead to institute a food ban, she would support it. Having higher quality foods is going to change lives, period, and you should be seeking higher quality items. And I think banning ingredients that make things just cheaper for the sake of being cheaper um, is a good thing. The others we spoke to said they would also support a food ban. I'm a flame hot Cheeto lover. <laughs> But yeah, if it if, if it affects the children, yeah, I would definitely stand behind that. Certain foods are addictive if you if you look at like how kids perceive them. Like I have little kids and yeah. they go crazy about those and they're not so good yeah. for them. So I, I just don't buy them. Many Michiganders know healthy eating is a key component to healthy living. In Detroit, I'm Ryan Marshall for 7 News Detroit. All right.